Good morning students, welcome to our video on the chronological questions that we have seen in the December 2023 examination. So what I want to tell you from this video is that uh, do not worry much about chronology because there are around 10 to 12 questions that come in chronology and we are going to discuss all the things that is important from uh, this particular section chronological order. But yes, before we begin this video, if you are one of those students preparing for UGC net examination, then you can check out our 300 plus premium mock test series both on paper 1 and paper 2 from our mobile application limitless literature you can get the explanation of 15,000 plus questions both in paper 1 and paper 2 check out the limitless literature mobile application and now without any further ado let's check it out this video so many students are confused that how to study the chronology of Indian literature but when we look at the question paper the scenario is different time that you are spending on British literature theory criticism all these subjects the same amount of time you have to give to previous year questions in the beginning uh, you can read the notes you can go through the study material you can go through the coaching classes anything you can do they will help you to form the base they will help you to form the roots but in order to build the mindset psychology you need to figure out how you are going to analyze the previous year questions how you are going to practice the mock test test question papers and all this okay so i will take you to the computer screen and i will show you the number of questions they have asked in the chronology and what you can do about it okay let's check it out so here we go on the chronological section okay so i will show you what all are the questions they have asked whether it is relevant or irrelevant okay let's check it out on the question number 51 we have 51 number question this is not chronology it is also not chronology okay so let's go directly jump on to the question number uh, we have from the chronological section that is okay this is the match of the following okay do not get confused that it is a chronology order this is not chronology okay here we go question number 72 okay so charles dickens correct order of publication of the novels they have asked okay so it is not surprising that you found the chronology of uh, charles dickens because in the previous year like almost three to four times they have asked the same questions okay previous year questions repeats okay do not get misguided by the people who said the previous previous year questions do not repeat okay how come uh, all the teachers are cracking the ugc net examination seven times eight times ten times 20 times 30 times how come it is happening uh, because the previous year questions repeats previous year topics repeats okay like i found a question from 2014 that reappeared in 2023 okay so they are asking the same topic same question just giving a little bit of twist if it so that's why i'm saying that you have to build the psychology you have to read the previous year questions okay uh, this question is very 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 easy okay uh, like charles dickens chronology you have to uh, read okay you have to study Shakespeare's all the plays because they have asked Shakespeare's plays in chronological order they have asked the characters of Shakespeare plays in chronology order Jane Austen they have asked okay in Indian literature they are putting uh, the chronology but that is not important the ingredient to crack this examination is not Indian literature but literary theory you have to get command you have to get accuracy on this subject uh, because this subject is going to keep you it, it is going to give you an extra edge over other students and and it is difficult but once you understand it it is very easy to revise to remember to understand to attempt the questions with great accuracy okay let's check it out other ones what is the correct chronological order of publication from the given text below okay like Raja Rao came during the Mahatma Gandhi era and then Arkin Narayan also came during the Mahatma Gandhi era so based on the intelligent guesswork you can figure out this answer you don't have to study exactly for these questions okay these questions are just common sense questions and figuring out your basic understanding okay they are not directly asking the years they are not directly asking uh, when did the great Indian novel was published they are not simply asking they are not directly asking these questions they are simply uh, trying to figure out whether you know uh, which writer came first or which writer came later so C must come before E you have to do the intelligent guesswork like this and out of these four options you can easily eliminate two options and then then that's go for the luck okay? Okay, 50 50 chances okay we do not know the right answer of all the questions we cannot come on to the right answers you do not have to study extensively for this Indian literature chronological years okay let's look on to the other question so then we go with the question number 99 we have Sri Aurobindo's in according with their years of publication okay so no one knows the answer Aurobindo Ghosh years okay he has written a lot of poems show me a teacher who knows this answer and I will quit teaching English literature here on YouTube okay no one knows the answer of this question so these questions are just uh, to make the level of uh, the subject 
uh, looks like uh, yes they are asking something very difficult okay let's move on to the next question right now so we have question 137 number question okay vs naipal bharti mukherjee salman rushdie you can just use the elimination technique okay so once again you can eliminate three you can eliminate four and then you have the choice from one and two uh, you can just take the risk and take the blind shot of out, out of one or two no particular knowledge is required what i am trying to say is that no particular knowledge no particular years are required you for you to study there are more than 1000 works in indian literature in indian literature indian writers write one novel every year oh, like we have um, to kill the mockingbird the american author harper lee she only published one novel in her whole life okay so and then the next one was um, uh, go set a watchman that came during 2018 uh, but that was not published uh, it was just the collection of her unpolished draft that was published by harper collins uh, but she published one book but the remaining indian writers they are writing one novel every year you go with arkanar and he has written a lot of works salman rushdie he has written a lot of works you cannot study all these works you cannot remember the years you cannot remember the chronology of all everything based on elimination you study it you do not study specifically for the chronology you study for your understanding and through elimination you can come up to the answer no one knows the answer we have question number 131 again it came from literary theory again i will not give importance to this question also because there are so many works in literary theory that we cannot come to the answer of the right question okay so let's skip this question also so then we have question number 134 we have richard hogard so who studies for richard hogards okay tell me one applicant who has studied this writer with chronology uh, in the 50000 application forms tell me one student who has read this and i will quit again teaching here on youtube i will quit the teaching profession no one knows the answer of such questions what i'm trying to tell you is that you study literature as a whole do not go specifically on the chronology section sir how to study chronology you can never find out what they are going to ask you okay study the literature and once you build some command you can get uh, at least 50% accuracy in chronology okay so you see 10 questions came only 10 questions came still 90 questions are not from uh, this particular section only 10 questions came from chronology and out of these 10 questions two british literature four literary theory and four indian literature so what i'm trying to tell you is that out of 10 questions if you just go with the blind shot if you do not know the answer of you will at least get three questions right okay out of 10 you will get at least three questions right that's my calculation if you are good enough in literature you may also get five questions right out of these chronology 10 questions so you do not study pra practically for chronology you do not study for that you study for literature you understand literature and once you understand it you automatically get to the answer of these years i never studied for chronology and the students who are cracking this examination they are not particularly studying for this particular section and in case you want to understand how to prepare these years you can check out the previous videos where i have mentioned about 100 important years you can just simply record it in your mobile and you just keep on listening i have shared the technique in that particular video check it out then we have question number 140 from indian literature again again this is a question from natya shastra and the indian aesthetic question is there so we have found uh, one or two questions from indian aesthetics so it does not mean that you start studying that you are only going to find the questions from every subject okay there are uh, 10 subjects Uh, almost 10 subjects and then again 10 subjects in paper 1 you are going to find the questions from everywhere it doesn't mean that you study all the 20 subjects okay sir uh, we have not studied ancient literature why the hell you are studying ancient literature yes of course there is a question one or two questions from ancient literature but that does not mean that you study ancient literature you do, does not mean that you study indian aesthetic does not mean that you study uh, british diaspora canadian literature it does not mean that do not study the whole syllabus 20 subjects are there you cannot cover every single thing you cover only five subjects out of these 20 subjects and you will crack the exam but these five subjects must be on your tips on your fingertips one by one one and one question everything you must be remembered in these 25 subjects okay thoroughly these five subjects three to four subjects from british uh, from english literature two three subjects from paper one you study it 
on your fingertips so that you have 90% accuracy in these jets okay so try to understand all these things what I'm trying to say okay so and yes of course uh, to build the momentum you can practice the mock test series that we are providing on the limitless literature mobile application 15,000 plus questions are over there okay so I hope you got the idea I will again show you the screen uh, what I'm talking about so we have these questions we got this 72 number question from British literature 76 number question from British literature two from British then we have two from Indian and then we have four from theory two from Indian so out of ten questions you got six questions uh, that is easy to moderate you may have the greater chance that you get the correct answer out of ten you may get four three questions four questions that will also again going to contribute in your overall score okay it is not like you study years um, thoroughly years 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 every day you are studying years 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 okay no it's it is not like that you have to give the uh, overall understanding you have to understand everything and you have to appear for the exam okay the more you study the better outcome will be that is the discipline okay it is not like you study one hour every day you have to study three hours every day consistently for two months three months and you will crack the exam okay so consistently consistent discipline matters everything else consistent discipline every day study something study something study something and you may find any question from the study that you have done in the two months or the three months so i hope you are finding out these videos helpful do let me know your views in the comment section below i will come up with another video soon i will see you soon that's it for this thank you